just that watch, bro. There's just like a Staples ad behind you. <laughs> yeah, it's like every every time I, I do a post about my clothes or my coaching, a Staples is in the back. <laughs> One thing to help people get in shape, that's the first step. You should always get in shape. You should always know how to get in shape. But after that, once you can get your money right, and now being able to help people get their money right, like, like I have a client right now who's doing like six grand a month, like was literally, had like a regular like $10, $11 hour job, making six grand a month now. I'm not saying I'm doing the best in the game, but I'm doing fairly well for myself. I mean, this month, let's, I'll pull out the phone. This is what we're at this month. We're at 35,000. This is a pretty decent month. Um, the, the goal is to do 50 this month and just keep growing the business. Last year, my best month was probably like a 12 grand month. Now I'm doing like 25 grand months consistently and I'm over 30 grand this month and I'll probably hit a 50 grand this month. So I went to California for a year, was with my family. They ended up moving to Florida, but ever since I came back, that, I've been back like that long. Four or five years I've been back. Yeah, and what was I driving in the last video? I was driving a, I was driving a 1998 Volvo that I bought for my friend for $500. And I was riding, before that I was riding my bike everywhere. But I remember I was, I, dude, I was probably only making like two or three thousand dollars a month at that point. Three thousand on a really good month, maybe. I was just trying to figure it out, you know what I mean? I was still trying to market my coaching business, so I had like some clients, but not to the scale that I have now. My business has like completely blown up and it's only getting bigger. So this is just the start, but I'm hungrier than ever. And this is a testament to what you can really accomplish in like a few years if you really just put your head down. And honestly, yeah, it was a, it was a little bit of a grind, but not as much of a grind, you know, as you would think. Like I just got more and more and more aligned on what I'm supposed to be doing. And a lot of this stuff feels natural for me. And a lot of, I feel like a lot of people maybe don't want to admit that because they want to act like they work harder than they do, but I mean, of course I work hard. Any business owner works hard. Any entrepreneur works hard. But at the end of the day, it's like, once you align with what you're supposed to be doing, things flow a lot easier. I'm not saying it's easier, but it's simpler. Uh, now we're gonna go grab some food. It's the middle of the day, so it's like, it's 3 p.m., right? Took some sales calls, did some work back at the office. Um, had some people waste my fucking time, but what else is new? Welcome to the life, welcome to the business. Show you guys what we eat. all that yelling for he's like was that me <laughs> my car just yeah like she, she's just loud right, so we got the chicken rice more chicken more rice lettuce a little bit of cheese and then we got some medium salsa on here so we're just getting it done man it's like a regular meal I would eat out there's those core places that you can stick to Chipotle is definitely one but yeah we know it's crazy about this spot is this building, this used to be Croc Rock, Crocodile Rock Cafe. So this was a venue uh, that I used to play at when I was in a band. You were there, Pablo. <laughs> I was there. Right here, right? This literally this. this bro, this building is the Cro is Croc Rock Cafe. This is, used no. to be the parking lot that we would hang out in. This is like when I was 13. We're talking like, we're talking like 13, 12, 13 years ago. Maybe That's even longer. Crazy. Yeah. Right here, this alleyway, right here. Right fucking here. Same fucking that we used to hang out back there, right? The buses would pull back there. And now you live their stuff. You live you're now literally parking there. your your car in the I parking park my lot. Same fucking car, my fucking Mercedes Benz, by the way. And then the fucking my my office is right there. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy full circle shit, man. That is crazy, crazy how it goes, you know? Like because people started asking me for help with their business. And I realized that I had some really good information to make people money. See, and a lot of guys in the industry, they don't fucking understand how to make money. Started my own business, coaching business, a real fucking business. And you guys have to understand, we're in a paradigm shift right now. If you have a big following and you can also couple that with a high ticket offer, don't fucking, don't fucking lie to your followers and give them some $24.99 bullshit. That's not even gonna fucking help them. Work with them, coach them, charge them, give, charge them enough so they feel like they have some skin in the game so they actually fucking commit to it. Chances are, 
that they have already spent 10 times the price of your fucking program on bullshit in the past year. Alcohol, food out to eat, bad habits, all this bullshit. You gotta help people. And and, and helping people is, uh, you know, helping them make a decision that's in their best interest, honestly. It really is, so. I like this business game, for sure. But also, I'm definitely not in the business of convincing anyone to work with me. I don't need anyone's fucking money. I wanna make, I want someone, to, I want to make an impact on somebody, you know? The money is just an exchange for my time and knowledge and learning, teaching them how to implement it. So, is what it is, man. That's the way I think about content. You know, it's all about creating that organic ecosystem. You know, you keep making the content, you keep bringing the leads in for your business, and you know, your clients get progress, you make money, everyone's happy. So, let's run it. Now, where the fuck, now I can just find my goddamn keys. Dude, you're not gonna sit there and tell me and try to educate me on why paid ads are gonna work for me when you haven't even made five thousand dollars a month on paid ads. Right. When I when I do thirty six organically, I haven't spent a dollar on paid ads. You, you, fuck you. <laughs> I haven't spent so so when. So <laughs>